This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Joe Kirk, who is the head of the Pittsburgh Sailing League, indeed a founder of the Pittsburgh Sailing League. Joe, it's good to be with you. Thanks good for to being be here. here. Well, you know, I think a lot of folks are wondering, sailing in Pittsburgh? I mean, we're kind of inland. So what exactly is the Pittsburgh Sailing League? Sure. The point of Pittsburgh Sailing League is a high school sailing program. Uh, we really came into operations uh, last year uh, with COVID, kind of had a, a slow start, but uh, we're well underway this year. Uh, again, we serve high school students and with a particular priority on attracting students from the Pittsburgh public schools and students that have never sailed before. Uh, and our only requirement is that the student has some experience in swimming. We have them do a little swim test. Uh, they can take it with a uh, go to a local Y and have the lifeguard do it. And uh, that's all they need to do. We provide the life jackets. We have the boats. Uh, we keep them safe. That's our number one priority. Uh, and uh, we, we have instructors on the boats until they are able to sail a boat without an instructor on board. Well, this is a wonderful program. I'm really, uh, I'm really intrigued by it. But before I ask you more specifically about what you're doing with high school kids, let me just ask you about sailing in general. Sure. Where do you sail? Where do most people sail? if they're sailors. And, and are there very many of you guys who are sailing in the Pittsburgh area? A surprisingly number, a great number of sailors are in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, our local sailing area is at Lake Arthur and Marine State Park. There are also some sailors who go down to Deep Creek, Maryland. Uh, in fact, a, a, a national uh, production company of sailboats, the Flying Scott, is, they are produced there. Uh, and so, yes, yeah, so, so there are a number of sailors in the greater Pittsburgh area, and our instructors come from uh, those lakes and uh, folks who have gone through training through the U.S. Sailing Association to become uh, certified sailors, certified instructors. You know, it's pretty amazing because, you know, when I think, and I think a lot of folks think of sailing, they, of course, think of the ocean. Uh, but lakes are just as fine as long as you've got wind. Do we have enough wind? You mentioned that I think that you are teaching sailing on the Allegheny River, is that right? That is correct. Our, our program is based at an amphitheater right next to Carnegie Science Center in Acushore Stadium. Uh, and uh, we sail uh, right there on the Allegheny River, right near the point of Pittsburgh. Uh, anyone who has gone down to the point, most times will go down there and say, wow, it's a little bit windy down here. And that's, you know, that's all you need for sailing, there's some water and some wind. Uh, but we make sure that we do it in a safe way also. Uh, that's a navigable waterway. So we make sure that we stay, we, can, I, we have radio communication with commercial vessels in the area. We literally have a channel clearance procedure that the students follow. Uh, and so we, we keep everything safe. You know, I can't say that I've seen a lot of sailboats on the Allegheny River. Um, and I do wonder sometimes about those very hot roddy speedboats that I do see. Um, is there a danger posed by those uh, boats and other kinds of craft on the river? Well, what we do, uh, in fact, it's, that's an interesting point on Thursdays, which is one of our sailing days, Thursday afternoons, we now limit our sailing outside of what's called the navigation area. And that's outside the area where most uh, pleasure and commercial vessels are. Uh, secondly, again, as I said, we communicate with commercial vessels and with the recreation vessels, I literally will move the sail, our safety boat that I'm in all the time. I'll move it to a position where I'm in between that speedboat and our, our uh, sailboats. And, and really, frankly, the, the, the boaters do get the message and will steer clear of where we are. So, and then on the weekends when we sail on Saturdays, that is a no wake zone. Right. So that makes, you know, we can sail a little bit larger area. Well, I think it's terrific what you're doing, Joe. Uh, we're talking with Joe Kirk from Pittsburgh Sailing League. It's probably too late to sign up for this summer, but uh, um, are, are you gonna have lessons in the, in the uh, fall? Well, our program runs until the end of September, again, weather permitting. 
Uh, and if there are interested high school students who still would like to sign up, certainly we'd invite them on board. And uh, we, again, we'll, we'll crank a program back up in uh, May of next year. Actually, we start our, our classes in April. We try okay. to get on the water about mid-May and well, run till the end of September. We've actually run out of time, Joe, but this has been absolutely fascinating. We're, we're uh, halfway through uh, August, summer's almost over, but you can sail anytime. So there you go. thank you, sir, very much for being with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you, John. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.